His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to the Saudi King, King Salman, wishing him abundant health happiness and long life as well as further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Saudi people under his leadership. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the deep rooted solid fraternal relations between the two kingdoms and their peoples affirming Bahrain's constant keenness to continue strengthening its fruitful cooperation and joint action with Saudi Arabia within the ongoing robust strategic partnership between the two kingdoms in a way that benefits their peoples. His Majesty King Hamad praised the approach adopted by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to enhance the economic development and prosperity across the region in a way that ensures security, stability and peace for all. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, marking the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his pride in the long standing relations between the two kingdoms and their people, affirming Bahrain's commitment to further bolster cooperation with Saudi Arabia within the ongoing strategic partnership to achieve the mutual goals and aspirations that benefit both countries and their people. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's commitment to enhancing economic development and prosperity across the region to ensure security, stability and peace under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zihani, attended the reception organized by Saudi Arabia's permanent mission to the UN, marking Saudi Arabia's 93rd National Day. The reception was held under the patronage of Saudi Arabia's Minister of Foreign Affairs. His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud. Dr. Zayani affirmed the depth of the historical ties between the two countries in various sectors, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and supported by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Dr. Azayani congratulated Saudi Arabia and its people on this national occasion, commending its leadership's role at international and regional levels and its contributions to Arab Islamic and international affairs, including maintaining security and stability, advancing the Arab cooperation, and supporting humanitarian efforts. A number of buildings, facilities, and landmarks in various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain were painted in green in the celebration of the 93rd National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and embodying the depth of the ties that bond Manama and Riyadh at various fields and levels. The celebration comes within the framework of the mutual keenness of the two kingdoms' leaderships to develop relations for the benefit of the two brotherly countries and peoples.
Bahraini Saudi relations have always been a source of pride for the two brotherly people, built on honorable and authentic stances and principles. The Bahraini Saudi relations resulted in a strategic partnership in all the fields, sectors, and levels between the two countries and constituted a pioneering and distinguished example to be emulated. This historical brotherhood and strategic partnership is based on strong foundations of interconnection, cooperation, understanding and joint coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. A relationship between two kingdoms distinguished by several foundations, most notably the deep-rooted love between the leadership of the two countries and the two brotherly people which paved the way to begin the joint process of development and progress that began decades ago. Over the years, Bahraini-Saudi relations have formed a model of historical brotherhood and growing partnership and reached their peak during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his brother, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. Unified visions reinforced by ties of brotherhood and love rooted in history, contributed to building an integrated and exemplary base of distinguished relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and opened promising and broader horizons in all fields and at all levels. The Saudi Press Agency held an exhibition on the history of the Saudi state. The exhibition stems from the role of the media and its message towards consolidating the historical depth of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and introducing its glories, legacy, as well as cultural achievements. Sensing its national media role and to enhance its educational message at home and abroad, the Saudi Press Agency held an exhibition on the history of the Saudi state, which constitutes another concept of institutional work with the aim of integrating the media role with the national institutions concerned with the history of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by providing interactive content about the history of the Kingdom. The exhibition takes the visitor on an enriching journey about the history of Saudi Arabia according to a sequential chronological path, starting from the founding stages up to the declaration of unification across the country and the beginning of the era of the modern state during periods of successive kings leading to the era of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the prosperous present the Kingdom is witnessing. The Saudi State History Exhibition constitutes a knowledge station that is attractive in its content to the public. It also represents a platform from which the media, visiting delegations and members of the diplomatic corps derive a comprehensive vision of the stages of history of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The President of the Supreme Council of Health and President of the Bahrain Council for Health Studies and Specialities, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, praised the importance of the academic and scientific role played by the Arabian Gulf University within the joint Gulf work system, which seeks to achieve sustainability and excellence in the provision of health services. This comes during the visit of the President of the Supreme Council of Health to the Arabian Gulf University in the presence of the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila bin Sayyid Jawad Hassan. A number of senior officials in the health sector and the Supreme Council of Health and President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Saad bin Saud al fahid During the visit, the President of the Supreme Council of Health was briefed on the progress of the differentiation exams held today for students after meeting the admission conditions to sit for the exams. Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed stressed the continued interest and keenness to increase the capacity of medical training out of the belief in the fundamental role of medical training in raising the efficiency of Bahraini doctors, which is reflected in the quality of health care. He also expressed his deep thanks and appreciation for the effective partnership with the Arabian Gulf University and its contributions to achieving the most important goals of the Bahrain Council for Health Specialities. The President of the Supreme Council of Health also thanked the work team of the Bahrain Council for Health Studies and Specializations for their efforts during carrying out the tasks of organizing and coordinating to complete this program to the fullest extent. For her part, the Minister of Health affirmed the continuous support that the Kingdom of Bahrain provides to doctors of national caters out of belief in the importance of investing in the human element as it is the focus 
of comprehensive development in all sectors. She also noted that the launch of the resident doctor program will contribute effectively to training more doctors to achieve the desired goals and aspirations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd al Latif bin Rashid Azayani, participated in the ministerial preparatory meeting for the summit on the future, headed by the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. The minister delivered a speech in which he affirmed Bahrain's commitment to building a prosperous and sustainable future for its people, the necessity of international cooperation and its readiness to work hand in hand with all the countries to overcome the challenges. He said that at the top of the priorities is emphasizing the importance of adhering to the principles of the United Nations Charter in dealing with the challenges facing the world in order to spread world peace. He stressed the importance of promoting the civilizational dialogue and promote peaceful coexistence among the cultures, religions and beliefs and harnesses all the resources, energies and capabilities in order to achieve the desired goals. He also called for taking the advantage of rapid technological developments, harnessing creativity and innovation to drive sustainable growth and addressing the challenges represented by climate change, renewable energy, food and water security organized crime, cyber security, and others. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain realizes the importance of preparing for the future and is keen to contribute positively to the efforts of the United Nations for a brighter and more hopeful future. The meeting discussed ways to lay the necessary foundations to provide more effective global cooperation, to confront critical challenges and address the gaps in global governance, and to reaffirm current commitments including the Sustainable Development Goals and the United Nations Charter. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs also took part in the meeting of Foreign Ministers of the Arab Summit Troika and the Foreign Ministers of the United Nations Security Council Member States. The Minister expressed his appreciation for holding this meeting which would provide opportunities for cooperation between the Security Council and the Arab League. He underscored that the Middle East is currently witnessing renewed efforts by regional players and international partners to achieve peace, stability and prosperity. He added that the UN Security Council member states are required to take advantage of the available opportunities given the changes in the region. He stressed that the Security Council member states and Arab countries are required to unite their efforts in coordination with regional and international partners to confront the challenges facing the Middle East. Areas of cooperation and joint coordination regarding the political, security, economic and development issues and challenges facing the Arab world were also reviewed. The meeting further discussed the prominent issues including the Palestinian cause, the ongoing conflicts in the region, the development challenges facing its countries and the ways to address regional situations and conflicts. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Ziani, met the Minister of Foreign Affairs for the European Union and Cooperation of Spain, Jose Manuel Alvarez. They discussed the course of the close relations between the two countries, areas of bilateral cooperation, and the ways to enhance and develop relations, in addition to discussing issues of common interest. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs also met his Turkish counterpart, Hakan Faydan. The ministers discussed the robust historical friendly relations between the two countries, which are developing at all levels and the ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in many fields. They also discussed a number of issues of common interest at the regional and international levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Benin, Shagun Ajadi Bakari, on the sidelines of the 78th session of the UN General Assembly. During the meeting, they also discussed the ways to enhance cooperation in various sectors. They also signed a joint statement to establish diplomatic relations between the two countries. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met the permanent mission of the Kingdom of Bahrain in New York with the Chair of the Board of Directors of the American 
Israel Public Affairs Committee, IPAC, Betsy Benis Khan, and several members of the committee on the sidelines of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The two sides discussed the close and long-standing relations of friendship between the two countries and the areas of cooperation between the Foreign Ministry and IPAC within the framework of the objectives of the Abraham Accords. They also reviewed the ways to support efforts aimed at promoting peace, security and regional stability as well as establishing the values of tolerance and coexistence for the benefit of the peoples of the region, in addition to exchanging views of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Khalifa Al-Mana, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to provide comprehensive health and medical care to all the citizens and the residents through a set of preventative and curative programs, as well as the expansion of health services network at all levels. This came during the meetings of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York in a speech delivered by Dr. Al-Mana before the high-level meeting on pandemic prevention, preparedness and response. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain attaches great importance to preparing for health emergencies. He also stated that the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain is also keen to develop multi-sectoral national plans and strategies to tackle emergencies and disasters while allocating the necessary support and funding for them. Dr. Almana pointed out that the Kingdom has proven its high ability to respond to health emergencies by dealing with the global spread of the corona COVID-19 pandemic thanks to the basic capabilities it possesses to deal with such circumstances. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health indicated that the Kingdom of Bahrain has been a role model in confronting the threat of the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19 as a result of the effective integration and coordination between all the institutions of the Kingdom of Bahrain within the national efforts to combat the virus and to tackle the damage resulting from its spread. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to participate positively and actively in various high-level international meetings. The keenness stems from Bahraini principles in supporting efforts aimed at achieving security, stability and development and enhancing international solidarity in the face of various challenges. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues its firm approach under the leadership of His Majesty the King and is active diplomacy through its effective movements to emphasize the importance of international cooperation and partnership on the foundations of brotherhood, understanding principles of good neighborliness, respect for the sovereignty of states, non-interference in their internal affairs, giving priority to dialogue and diplomatic solutions in resolving conflicts based on the charter of the United Nations and the principles of international law. The Kingdom also supports the efforts of the United Nations as a major element in supporting dialogue and peaceful coexistence between cultures and civilizations, stimulating human solidarity in addressing the problems of poverty and hunger, allocating more resources to help the least developed countries and the most disadvantaged groups, and encouraging scientific research and exchanging experiences in preserving the environment and treating diseases and epidemics. The delegations of the Kingdom of Bahrain during their participation in various meetings and gatherings are keen to highlight the Kingdom's achievements in various democratic, leg legal, educational, environmental and health fields and to emphasize its successes achieved in various economic investment and development paths and the Kingdom's ability to overcome various challenges and transform them into real opportunities that contribute to enhancing achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King through ambitious programs and plans led by the esteemed government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Supreme Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs announced during its meeting chaired by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Muhammad al muawda that it announced the opening of registration for pilgrims during the period from October the 1st till February the 20th, 2024. 
This came in the implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to begin the necessary arrangements for the Hajj season 1445 in line with the timetable and plan of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Supreme Committee praised the new regulatory mechanism adopted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which will contribute to supporting early preparations for performing the ritual of Hajj. The committee called on the citizens and residents to wishing to perform the Hajj rituals for the year 1445 to take the initiative to register so that the preparations can begin within the scheduled dates. The committee directed all licensed Bahraini Hajj campaigns to immediately begin announcing registration for the upcoming Hajj season.